Pakistan continues to expand its nuclear arsenal with more warheads, more delivery systems, and a growing fissile material production industry reports say. In 1999 a publication by the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency titled A Primer on the Future Threat the Decades Ahead 1999 to 2020 predicted that Pakistan's estimated nuclear warheads would reach somewhere from 60 to 80. Fast forward to September 2021 a nuclear notebook published in the journal Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists estimates that Pakistan has expanded its nuclear stockpile to approximately 165 warheads. According to the Chicago-based independent nonprofit publication Pakistan continues to expand its nuclear arsenal with more warheads, more delivery systems, and a growing fissile material production industry. Prepared by Hans Christensen Director of the Nuclear Information Project at the Federation of American Scientists and Matt Corder Research Associate for the NIP the publication argues that Pakistan is likely to continue expanding its nuclear capabilities over the next few years. Estimates predict that the country's stockpile could more realistically grow to around 200 warheads by 2025, if the current trend continues. The government of Pakistan has never publicly disclosed the size of its nuclear arsenal. Pakistan's nuclear capabilities Pakistan has been trying to develop new short-range tactical weapons, sea-based cruise missiles, air-launched cruise missiles, and longer-range ballistic missiles for some time now. Pakistan has at least six operational nuclear-capable land-based ballistic Mi missiles, including the short-range 60 to 70-kilometer NASR solid-fuel missile. With a range too short to attack strategic targets inside India NASR appears intended solely for battlefield use against invading Indian troops Christensen and Cordoride in their paper. The medium-range missiles include Shaheen-2 and Noor Shaheen-3 three missiles. Once fully operational researchers point out that the Shaheen-3 missiles, with a projected range of 2,750 km, and would bring Israel within range of Pakistani nuclear missiles for the first time. For this, these missiles will have to be deployed in the western parts of Balochistan province. Pakistan is also developing a multiple independent re-entry vehicle technology-enabled nuclear-capable ballistic missile Ababil. Pakistan is also reportedly upgrading its original Babur-1 missiles into Babur-1A and Babur-2 versions to improve their capabilities. An underdevelopment C version named Babur 3 is likely to be used with the diesel electric Agosta class submarines. Once ready, it is possible that these new submarines, which will be called the Hangar class, could eventually be assigned a nuclear role with the Babur 3 submarine launch cruise missile, the paper points out. In terms of Pakistan's aircraft capabilities, the nuclear notebook doesn't feature the nuclear capabilities of Pakistan's F 16s and JF 17 aircraft, citing the uncertainties. Pakistan has two versions of US made F 16 as well as the China assisted JF 17 fighter jets, however, the nature of their nuclear capabilities remains unclear. Pakistan was obligated by contract with the U.S. to not modify its earlier versions of older F-16, but various reports suggested that Pakistan might have modified those aircraft long back. Pakistan Air Force's Mirage 3 and Mirage 5 fighter squadrons are likely to have nuclear delivery capabilities as well. Mazur Air Base near Karachi housing three Mirage squadrons has a possible nuclear weapon storage site nearby that, according to the authors, has been witnessing continuous underground constructions and expansions. This includes a possible alert hangar with underground weapons handling capability, the publication points out. Another PAF base in Punjab houses two Mirage squadrons as well. Pakistani policymakers have expressed their views on replacing the aging Mirage aircraft with the JF-17. At the heart of Pakistan's nuclear production is the Kahuti uranium enrichment plant that has been expanding its enrichment capabilities recently. According to the report, the National Defense Complex in Mountain Ranges is ground zero to produce nuclear-capable missiles and launchers. Researchers suspect that the Pakistan Ordnance Factories could be linked to nuclear warhead production. According to the International Panel on Fissile Materials Pakistan had approximately 3,900 kg of weapon-grade highly enriched uranium and about 410 kg of weapon-grade plutonium in early 2020. But the authors of the nuclear notebook argue that calculating stockpile size solely based on fissile material inventory could be a wrong approach. Analyzing Pakistan's nuclear forces is fraught with uncertainty, given that the Pakistan government has never publicly disclosed the size of its arsenal, and media sources frequently embellish news stories about nuclear weapons, they added.